So today, we're going to be graphing proportional relationships. All right, so notice I've given you the equations for several, and we're going to make the graphs from. Now, the general equation for a proportional relationship can be written one of two ways, y equals kx or y equals mx, but they basically mean the same thing. It's always y equals some number times x. If it's kx, k represents the constant of proportionality. That's the unit rate. But the more helpful one is usually y equals mx. And m just stands for the slope. And when we deal with graphs, slope is more useful to work with. Slope is the rise over the run. And that's what we're going to use to make the graphs. I'll show you what I mean. y equals 4 thirds x. So 4 thirds is my slope. The number on top is my rise. It tells me how much up I have to go between points. And the number on the bottom is my run. That tells me how many to the right I have to go between points. All right, so every proportional relationship goes through 0, 0. So I'm going to start with that point. And then my slope tells me from here I can go up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and right 3, 1, 2, 3. And I'll have another point on the line. And then I can just repeat that again, up one, two, three, four, and write three. And I've got another point on the line. So the line is going to look something like this. And I mean, I've only done this side of the line. I should probably continue it the other way. And to continue it the other way, I just do the pattern backwards. And still, instead of going up four, I'm going to go down four and backwards three down four and back three and there is the rest of my line all right and notice i do draw the line with arrows on the end because if we were to follow this pattern we would go on forever and that's what the arrows represent all right let's do another one y equals negative one fourth x this time my rise is negative one so that means it's going to go down one but the bottom number, the 4, is still my run. It's going to go to the right 4. So starting at 0, 0, because every proportional relationship starts at 0, 0, I'm going to go down 1, and then right 4, and there's my next point. Repeat. Down 1, right 4, there's my next point. So I can draw in this side of my line. But I should extend it the other way, too. So I'm going to go up one and back four, up one and back four, and now I have the other half of my line. And again, arrows on the end because they go on forever. All right, and notice the difference between positive and negative slope. Positive slope, it goes up and to the right. Negative slope, and it goes down and to the right. But we always look at it as we're going to the right, kind of like when you read a sentence. You read it as you're moving to the right. All right. Let's do the last two here. y equals 3 over x. Now notice, this one's not a fraction. We're used to having a number on the top and bottom because we like to know our rise and our run. But this one doesn't have a number on top and bottom. It just has a whole number. So let's make it into a fraction. We can turn any whole number into a fraction by putting it over 1. And now we know what our rise and run is. All right, so starting at 0, 0. My rise is 3 and my run is 1. So I'm going to go up 3 and write 1 and plot a point. Repeat. Up 3, write 1, plot a point. So there is the first half of my graph. And I should continue it the other way. So I'm going to go back 3, uh, down 3, back 1. Down 3, back 1. And there's the rest of my line. All right, so it's always easier to turn the whole numbers into fractions. That way, you know exactly the steps to plotting the points. Here's another one, negative 2x, y equals negative 2x. Again, turn our slope into a fraction. Put this over 1. This tells me I'm going to go down 2, right 1 between points. So starting at 0, I'm going to go down 2, right 1, plot a point. Repeat, down 2, right 1, plot a point. Down 2, right 1. Down 2, right 1. There is half my graph. 
all right? And to do the other half, I'll just repeat it backwards. So up two and back one, two and back one. So it looks a little bit like this. All right, so as you're graphing, just be careful of the positives and negatives. Remember, we always move to the right. So if it's positive, it's gonna go up and to the right. If it's negative, it's gonna go down and to the right. All right, so hopefully that you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe, because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math, and I will see you next time.